rounding the corner past a stretch of luxury hotels. The devastation reveals itself. Into the town of Lahaina and the epicentre of the worst wildfire to hit the United States in years. Street after street, home after home here, reduced to rubble. This is where 55 people lost their lives. The search for the missing goes on. This is the heart of Lahaina's downtown hotels, restaurants, businesses, completely obliterated. You can see in the distance some of the wreckage still smouldering a couple of days after these wildfires hit and the smell of the smoke hangs heavy in the air. This here is the harbour area of Lahaina and this is where many people came to try and escape the full force of the flames. They were left with a choice, stay on land and burn or jump into the ocean. Most chose the latter. People clung to each other in the waves, embers flying overhead. Annalise was in the water for six hours with her neighbour Edna. Burns from the flames cover her face. And we were going in and out of consciousness ourselves in the water and we were both hallucinating um, but I just remember holding her hand and telling each other every few minutes like Edna are you awake wake up and um, and holding each other for warmth and then we would um, every once in a while we would get out of the water and we would go back up towards the fire just to warm our bodies. What was there not enough warning? There was no warning. Thousands of people have been evacuated from western Maui many here to the local gymnasium. Adam was also in Lahaina when the fires hit. These videos taken from his apartment balcony. It sounded like a war zone because the propane tanks were going off. A lot of it was started in an industrial zone. So you had oxygen tanks, you had, it sounded like fireworks a little bit. He escaped by fleeing to the mountains above Lahaina, but his home and town is gone. It's not just the, the loss of people here then, it's also the loss of place. Um, it's, it's even more than that, it's the loss of your heart. Like, I don't even know what to do next. So after 15 years of building a life here, where do I start over even? And you know, wherever I start over, it's not gonna be Lahaina. In Hawaiian, the term Ohana means family, and it's shining through here. Queues of people waiting to donate food and drink to the shelters but the road to recovery will be a long one. Martha Kellner, Sky News, Maui.